Bioshock. And we're gonna nice that first one. Ooh, Borderlands. I have never heard of this theory. You ever heard of XCOM? I mean, I bet you kind of confused with the symbols. <laughs> Yeah, that left me very confused. Old enemies face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. You so heroes have filled this world Ooh, Dr. Doom. You are no match for Doom's power. All right, Fantastic Four. Interesting. So, the entire expansion pass for that game is completely out. Does his armor just change white? In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. <laughs> you are the last right. of the human race, forced by global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. Well, this game was cool. Deep sea exploration game. You collect resources to upgrade your gear. Craft items and dive deeper into the abyss. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's time attack mode, another dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo Switch today. Why did that remind me of Unraveled? Live your best deserted island life thanks to this free update. Yeah, I still haven't got New Horizons, Enjoy but I really want to. The Animal Crossing New Horizons but I'm also game? getting Persona 5. Well, whether you're already living it up on the island, or you're still planning your departure, there's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day. That's in early terrifying. April. Can you hunt down the eggs zipper head everywhere? craft these special limited time items from the egg series the bunny day event only comes once a year this i thought April. yeah i thought so i thought that's what they would be doing with seasonal events it'd be yeah it'll happen if every time the holiday comes around first to Good to know i was right so be sure to participate and guess what there's another free update coming later in april It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account, and other channels too. So, stay tuned.
We hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Hey, look! Someone's hiring! Oh, this is your dad's company? Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items, mop the floor, and maintain a comfortable work environment. They're trusting you with crane operation oh God. and other tough tasks. Uh-oh. That's that a lot of destruction. Won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, oh do God! To to get the job done. <laughs> well then, this game is. <laughs> well then. To join the team and be put to work immediately. <laughs> Reminds me of, of a goose simulator. Not, not goose simulator. <laughs> Untitled goose game. Not goose simulator. <laughs> Good job launches today. <laughs> that was a fail. Catherine, full body, the mature action adventure puzzler, is coming to Nintendo Switch. I like that picture. Contemplating the next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Of course, it's Atlas. Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine. Catherine with a C and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weird. Oh no, he looks like Kamashita. He looks like Kamashita. I got. Oh god. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during. I got the day, hate feelings for a second. He's sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in if order he is, to survive underwear. and see another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, and intoxicating story when Catherine Full Body releases on Nintendo Switch July 7th. A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. Yeah, I'm never going over to Ava's house again. Oh! Well, never mind! I guess I am! Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. Okay, that's awesome. If you want to set a high score, I love you gotta get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 yeah, music well, tracks in the rhythm game. Uh, We're talking that's music cool. from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's all I need to hear. I'm not I'm getting this game, I'm getting this game myself. <laughs> this <laughs> I didn't want to get Wink Man Adventure at first. I'm getting it for the music. I'm getting it for My god. That's all I need to hear. Fly out to fly. Fitness track, here I come. On top of that. Uh... Voice option. Oh. Oh. And you'll also be able to As if As if Rule 34 wasn't as a big enough deal for people. Change languages. Yeah. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. If Rule 34 wasn't already a thing. We're also adding I've never a seen any in both the custom and I don't and want to. Modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Better open the gates, one treasured TRPG approaches. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight-up sequel will pit army against army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices matter more than ever. 
So does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate News huh? approaches. What? The fighter included in Wave we're, we're, we're already getting it? We're already getting the next fighter announcement? I thought Sakurai said, or maybe he said the fighter itself would be delayed. But I swear he said the announcement was going to be. The paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC will be. Arms? Joining the battle from arms. I recognize that music. Who is it? Extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. The next fighter okay. will be announced and released this June. I'm surprised it took so long for them to do this. Does this mean the arms is finally going to get get more content? Yep. Don't miss this arms game trial. A free game trial of oh, never mind. Will be available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. These elite fighting superstars share one thing in common. Still, still, I, arms. So arms I, I don't believe they're just going to drop, drop new stuff for it. Full game for free. Now, I, let's get stretchy. I mean, seriously, they have to have, be adding something new to arms. Well, all right. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2? Or not. Still an arms rep. Everybody thought Where arms was, wasn't going to get in cause, just because Springman was a, is an assist trophy, but I guess somebody is worthy. I'm starting to think Nintendo found out about my undying love for RPGs, so they're just bombarding the Switch with them. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book. Elvis and Adele. I've a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. I like those voices. <laughs> As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, that background. That background, though. Decide when to use Brave Points or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. 
choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Oh. Choose default to order so a more attacks per turn. Reclaiming a BP in the process. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> Yeah, they found out about my love for RPGs. And not only that, but they found out about my undying love for for a new unique concept in games that really haven't been seen before. Or at least have had are similar to one mechanic or whatever in some games, but a twist to them. They found out of being watched. Little announcement. A demo version of the game will launch today. Alright, I'll have to check it out. And in the near future, we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. We hope you'll participate. The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. Hopefully I don't have to play the first one to get to understand things. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a moving. All right. Tabletop classics from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Oh, like actual tabletop games. Interesting. every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, huh. Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Hare and Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richi Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Kara, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Bowling Slot Nice, card, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, I like bowling. Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew! That really is 51 games. 51. And there are many ways to play them. Some games... How much player storage player does it take? I want to know. Playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th, pre-purchase begins today. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Was that an Eminem reference? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across stages and show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Interesting. Disguise yourself and wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas. To tactical tricked out yo-yos. Your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? Or prove you're the master? 
when Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27th. And hey, it's free to play too. Huh. Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Customize your look, play a role in this Star Wars story, and battle online with up to 16 players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. And get ready to strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. In this remade dragon riding classic, you'll pilot the blue dragon through incredible landscapes, battling giant creatures and lethal battleships. Using 360 degree controls and lock on targeting, it's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. So now we gain strictly announcements. Can do that. I do all the announcements. I'm stupid. I don't know what I say. Say until I actually say it. <laughs> Over scrolls. Still good to go. Oh, here's where the here's where the Pokemon thing is. I was I was also wondering because I had seen that they had upload. I did see that they had upload something new on Sword and Shield. So I was wondering this entire time where it was. For a second, I thought it was like Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild Two update. A Sword expansion pass and Pokemon Shield expansion pass. I wish honestly. <laughs> Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible. Showing a lot more than this. The video is a adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about Part One, the Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles, where trainers can to master their skills. I, I'm sorry, I still can't get over that guy's name. Is, that, that guy's name is Mustard. I know it's a little disrespectful, but still. Train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon Cub Fu from the Master Mustard. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn Single Strike Style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike Style. Dark or Water, the choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, I have to say, Cinderace is my favorite looking one. The Intellion has my favorite favorite signature G Max move. It's G Max drum solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot. 
It's G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. <laughs> These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves. And when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they are attacking. Nice. So wait, is that, new outfit I is that a thing for all G-Max moves or just those three specifically? I wonder. So we get to dress as Marnie and Jared Rose. That's awesome. And hairstyles. It's just there awesome. There will also be new lead card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor. By the end of June. By the end of June. Interesting. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass... Stop taking my money so fast! Oh my god! I mean, it's not the cave, but it'll do. But still, I want a replica of this cape so badly. <laughs> I really do. We prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during max raid battles in the wild area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Kaparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword. And Charizard. And Garbodor. And Garbodor. And oh, it's our, oh, specifics, okay. I actually didn't realize that, because I have, because I got all of them in, just, I got all, all four of them, yesterday night, and I only have sword, only sword, I haven't gotten shield yet, I am getting both. Pokemon shield, battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. So stop taking my money so fast. We all freaking cap. Are you freaking cap? God damn it, Sword and Shield. God damn it! Stop making me care about cosmetics and games! Just stop! I have never... <laughs> Let me tell you! Let me tell you! When it comes to cosmetics in most games, I don't give a crap. Maybe I'll... I'll do... I'll care about cosmetics a little bit, but... There's... Even when I do... They're not a big deal. The only game I really, the only games I really do care about cosmetics in is Splatoon. And that's because cosmetics aren't even cosmetics. They're actual things that help you out in gameplay. But sorry, you just threw that all out the window. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it. Just stop. Stop it! My... My Pikachu... My poor Pikachu bag. My goodness. My poor Pikachu bag can't take it! Ugh.